This is me as uh, John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrim! Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy, and since it's Thanksgiving, I want to give thanks to those who've given to me over the years, and then the rest of y'all, just because you're there. Uh, so, uh, before we get started, damn it, son of a bitch. So before we get started with what I actually found in the wild, Gareth Packham had sent me some stuff, I filmed it, but then I had thrown in a bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily know if I want a bunch of strangers on the internet to know in a video or something. But that's beside the point. Uh, just imagine, if you will, Gareth Packham had sent me Lethal Weapon on VHS in this fancy European plastic sleeve thing, like a jewel case. And I know I don't talk about it enough, let alone at all, but Lethal Weapon is Probably my favorite action franchise of all time. Just every single one of all four movies are top-notch quality. And I love every single one of them. Uh, maybe one of these days, uh, over the winter, I'll sit down and I'll watch them since I just recently picked them up on Blu-ray. So I'll sit there and we'll watch them and we'll rank them. Maybe I'll start actually making videos. You know, I made this video, or I'm, I'm making this video, so hey, I'm already halfway there. Anyway, he also got me this fancy, uh, what is it, like a special edition? It's got two uncut, unleashed, never-before-seen things and such. Uh, but it probably won't play in my Blu-ray player. But look, the other, the other side is even cooler because it's got the Predator. So here's Arnie, here's the Predator, you know. Isn't that, isn't that fancy? So yeah, I got that all the way from the UK. So I picked up Top Gun. I had to pick that up, even though I've only seen it like twice when I was little. I figure I'll watch it again. I'll see, you know, since supposedly there's a new one coming out eventually. If they don't just shut the theaters down. I mean, even if they do, they'll probably stick it on Disney Plus or some stupid shit like that. Uh, and we'll just have to keep waiting for uh, all these random ass channels to pop up that'll be housing these videos where you can go pay... $20 a month and then watch one thing and then have wasted your fucking money because you got all these streaming sites and it just keep popping up and popping up and oh, give me $10 and give me $10. It's like, fuck you. I'll keep my $10. The hell are we talking about? <laughs> Captain America Civil War. Yeah, this is one of those movies I was talking about. Everywhere you go, it doesn't matter whether it's half price books, arcade legacy, anywhere have you that sells used movies, that specializes in used media, it's always $10 for any kind of Marvel or Disney movie. I got all these movies for three bucks. Three dollars. Somebody, and I think there was duplicates of a lot of them because uh, they were just all laying around and I like don't have them on my shelves. So I brought them home with me. I'm gonna go stick it on my shelf and never watch it again. I also got the Winter Soldier so that I can watch this and see, because I, I mean, I love Civil War. It's probably the, the best of the Captain America movie. Everybody loves this one. And I've seen it at least two or three times. And it's all right. I don't understand why everybody thinks that this is like the greatest superhero movie. Or it's like Marvel. Like, cause that's like Iron Man or like Tim Burton's 89 Batman or some shit like that. Or even, even Richard Donner's Superman. But this, I mean, it's, it's all right. Uh, like I said, I just need to watch it again. What else? Oh, uh, I had thought I had this. Luckily, I didn't, so I just picked this up again. But I probably do have it laying around somewhere. That's the Boondock Saints. Now, this is what I guess you'd call a cult classic. Because, like, nobody ever heard about this movie. And then all of a sudden, you know, oh, everybody's like, oh, have you seen Boondock Saints? And I'm like, yeah. Because I'm, you know, I'm a, a movie enthusiast. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But yeah, Boondock Saints. 
It's been a long time. It's been a really long time. And I've never seen it on Blu-ray, so that's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch something on Blu-ray for the first time because sometimes if you haven't seen it in a long time and then you watch it on Blu-ray for the first time, it feels like you watched it for the first time. Like, I know I need to make this list. People have probably been waiting for this since I started the channel, if they're even still with me here. Uh, but Lawless, one of the greatest fucking movies ever made. And I have literally, literally never heard anybody talk about it let alone me review it. Like, why haven't I reviewed this movie? I watched it not that long ago when it went to Netflix. Uh, yeah, it's even on Netflix and I bought it because you never know when Netflix is going to drop a bitch or you might drop Netflix because for some reason they still have that cuties movie on there. Like, what the hell, Netflix? Like, get with the fucking program. Unless I need to get with the program. But like, if I need to get with the program, I think that, I mean, you know what I mean? Everything's fucked up. All right. We're living in a fucked up society right now, okay? But I got Lawless on Blu-ray in case I need to watch that shit. You know what else I picked up? Field of Dreams. This movie came out back before all this weird, unnecessary nonsense that's been going on in the world has been going on. Like, this takes me back to a time where I didn't have to worry about uh, looking at Facebook and being like, Oh my God! All these people need to be murdered! But seriously, it's been... A ridiculous amount of time since I've seen Field of Dreams. If I watch it, uh, maybe uh, I'll review it. Because if I build it, they'll cut. Just shut up. I picked this up just because, I mean, I'm more than certain that it's probably absolute garbage. But, you know, there's only one way to find out. And, you know, I might never find out because I put this on the shelf and then... Every time I look at it, I'm like, eh, it's probably not that good. And then I just, you know, had wasted $3. See how that works? Interstellar. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure. Maybe it was Gareth Packham that was like, have you seen Interstellar yet? And I'm like, you ain't gonna believe this. I stopped watching Christopher Nolan movies after Inception. Because, I mean, I might not be the smartest person in the world, but Inception ain't made a damn bit of sense. Like I, I dream, I'm a, like an, I'm an expert dreamer. I go to sleep, I dream about whatever I want. I'm the dream master. But I don't know. I watch it eventually, you know. Maybe if I don't just leave it on the shelf. Now this is one I'm definitely interested in watching, and that's Hostels with uh, Christian Bale. Because you know I wasn't always big on westerns when I was a kid. But now that I'm older and like history and like back then is more interesting to me now, you know, I, I like watching the period pieces. So, Hostels, that looks pretty fun. And even though I was like lukewarm, because like the first one is it, it the, the first one is absolutely amazing, probably in my top five best Marvel movies. And then they come out with this and it was like, I don't know. Maybe I need to watch it again. Maybe everybody needed to watch it again. See, it just didn't have the magic of the first one. Or maybe it did and I just missed it. I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember if I ever reviewed, because I, have I reviewed any of these? One of these days I'll sit down, I'll start reviewing movies, everybody, instead of just going and buying stuff and then using that as an excuse to make a video so that, you know, y'all don't get mad and unsubscribe. So I also picked up Doctor Strange and I couldn't believe somebody must have upgraded to 4K or something because who just unloads a boatload of Marvel Blu-rays? These things, these are hot commodities, man. You take these to the pawn shop, the hell, they'd probably give you $3 a piece for them because they know they're going to sell them for 10 Or maybe if you go to a pawn shop, you'd probably get them cheaper. I don't know. I don't know. But I got a goodwill, three bucks. I can't can't pass it up. And, and I saw that in the theater, and I haven't seen it since. And I liked it in the theater. I just, because, you know, Disney Plus came out, and they've got all the Marvel movies on there, but just, just something that won't let me watch anything on Disney Plus and the only reason I have Disney Plus is because I got the free prescript per, per I got the free subscription with my Verizon plan 
Anyway, I picked up Wonder Woman because, you know, strong female leads. We don't need other people uh, writing horrible movies when we got... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But yeah, Wonder Woman. It's like, you know, who would have thought that this movie would have been as badass as it is. And I can't wait to watch Wonder Woman 84. Uh, Gal Gadot, yeah, she like... I can't even think after her. I can't even think of who else on the planet at this time, at this juncture, would be good enough to fill those boots. Like, Gal Gadot's the only person, and like, I didn't know who the hell she was until she come along and was like, oh, Batman v Superman, and then it was like, oh, God, that's what's going on with this movie. It's another one I need to rewatch. Anyway, he's bringing something special just for me. I ain't seen this since seventh grade music class. That's the music man. What, and, 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 you know, you're thinking... I'm in school, I'm in class, they're going to make us watch a movie, so it's going to be terrible. Well, believe it or not, and I don't, as far as I remember, you know, I don't know, I was like 12. This movie is pretty awesome for being a musical. It's one of the only musicals that I, you know, didn't rip my hair out at the songs. It's got wonderful songs, like that song about bringing something special just for me, I don't know. But, uh, I, you know, one of these days we'll sit down and we'll watch this. Well, are we going to review it? I don't know. And I picked this up for the secretary because she loves herself some Red Dragon. Now, this franchise, I don't know. Maybe it's just something wrong with me. Or maybe I don't have the attention span. But these movies seem like they drag. Like, even Silence of the Lambs. But yeah, I mean, what, what am I going to do? It's not my fault. I mean, I'll sit down and watch them again and pay attention and, you know, put my phone somewhere I can't find it for the time being. That way I can like, get engrossed in the story but you know i've seen you know don't, you know just don't worry about it don't worry about it uh, i picked up split and now i didn't expect to like this movie and i still haven't watched glass because i heard you know pretty bad i don't know what the hell i i hate m night Shyamalan. i really really do even though i kind of like some of his movies I just hate him because it's like, dude, just make a movie, all right? Quit trying to be so goddamn, uh, what do you call it? Arrogant, you fucking bitch. Anyway, Split! What a hell of a performance by James McAvoy, right? Oh, and I picked up the complete first season of Ash vs. the Evil Dead, and I've never seen this show. It's, it's blasphemy. It's blasphemy. But now I have no excuse. Now I have absolutely no excuse. Maybe I should bring that kid in here, sit him down, show him all three Evil Dead movies, and then uh, pop that bad boy in. Because, I mean, obviously I can't let him watch the remake. What am I, a sadist? A sadist? A sadist? Anyway, I know y'all have been distracted this whole time by these pockets, but I didn't feel like popping the iron out, you know, and just getting them... Oh, I should have picked this up with the other ones. Uh, I got Avengers Infinity War. Uh, yeah, 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 see? And, you know, I was hoping they had Endgame. It would have been awesome if they would have had Endgame. Uh, but I think I have Endgame, like the digital download. Somebody was nice enough to throw that my way way back when. I don't know. I haven't been on any of them fancy sites where you got to pay money to watch shit or watch. I don't know. I got this movie. It's got Thanos. And then from Studio Canal, I got this vintage classic of the Death on the Nile, which is funny because this is coming out here soon, which I still haven't watched The Murder on the Orient Express. But it's like, do I need to watch that to watch The Death on the Nile? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who really knows? But it's it's one of them thick boxes. You gotta love them thick boxes. Hopefully, you know, it's region free or at least it'll play. I mean, why would they have it at Goodwill if it wasn't region free? You know what I mean? And then, it's been a long time since I watched this movie. I even bought the regular old Blu-ray and never popped it in, but now that I got this fancy ass edition, like, this thing's badass. It's got, like, a book inside of it. Oh, Lord of the Rings advertisements. 
Uh, but yeah, there's a book. Well, it looks like nobody ever used the book. Yeah, it's a book, all right? But that cover is just amazing. Now, I wish there's so many different movies. Like, there's a version of Psycho that has the hardback novel look to it. And I just, I want either all of my movies to be like this or all of my movies to be like uh, the steel books. I only want steel books and hardback books. Like, these plastic cases got to go. I'm, I'm tired of looking at them. They're ugly. They're ugly. There's one more thing I got, okay? Uh, uh. So yeah, I got this uh, for what seemed like a deal because it's a it's a Silverton. And I figure, you know, it was only a little bit of money. So I, uh, I, had, I had to have it. I had to have it. Came with a case and everything. And then I got my fancy uh, Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street guitar pick that I'll pluck at it with it. All right, don't worry about it, all right? I mean, did you like did you like that solo I busted out or whatever that was? <laughs> I, I'll be honest, that wasn't really me playing. Anyway, uh, make sure if you like this video, there's all these buttons and subscriptions and stuff that you can do. And if you feel like it, you can go over to Patreon. Maybe I can buy, uh, you know, uh, other stuff and things. Oh, I also bought this lawnmower. I had to cut this grass. Am I, am I doing it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see what I was talking about? Anyway, fucking get out!